Okay, y'all. I am back, and I think we're going to do this in, in a two-part um, potting up because I don't want to make the you know any one of them too long or anything. So I think we're going to do a an extended or part two potting session. So this will be the start of part two. How does that sound? Uh, we still got a few plants left to do, and uh, I'm actually debating on. I'm debating on this Wakariana. <clears throat> now, it's been in a pot, it, it appears. And then, of course, we've got the um, last one here. Let me get rid of this. Uh... Oh, don't spill it. Please don't spill it. Um is this one? I can't remember. This is Coleumata and Aquinia crossed with uh, Forbesia Alba. So this one's definitely going to go into a pot. But this Walkeriana, I'm debating. It's a rambler. You can see it's got um, just bloomed. You can see it's got uh, <clears throat> I wanted to mount it or pot it. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I am going to get it cleaned up and then think about it while I'm cleaning and I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Now, I went ahead and jumped ahead and cleaned up this um, this one here. The um, I always want to do it upside down. The uh, Comanata, Aquinia, Cerulea, Crossus Forbestia, Alba. Because I'm going to go ahead and, because it's a rambler. As you see, she rambles. She's very much so a crawler. This is a new root that's starting to dry out on the tip because it's not in any media. So I want to get her potted. But also, I see more. Actually, if I can show you guys, huh? This tip. <laughs> this is a new root that is starting to dry out because it's not hitting media. So I need to get that in something so that it continues to grow. Right here also is a tiny root tip starting. So I'm going to sort of bury the back half of this plant a little bit. Shouldn't hurt anything. Um, which definitely, this plant's definitely a long rambler, crawler kind of plant. And I'm putting her in a straight five inch, not a four and a half, uh, because she is kind of crawling. So, <clears throat> really, she'd probably be ideally mounted. Gosh, that makes me think. Should I mount her? Because I'm changing my mind on the Walkeriana. It's getting mounted. It's definitely getting mounted. did that I wouldn't have to bury so much of it <sighs> Let's see how this goes I guess and if I don't really particularly like it I can change it See, this is just going to be a temporary thing, too, because she's going to wind up hitting the side of the pot. This is just getting her somewhere, getting her stable, and letting that root grow, catch on and grow. So, yep, she definitely rambles. She's got a long, long... Um, growth on her there. I 
that down in there. Yeah, I can think about her later. I might might change my mind and um, mount her. It's like I said, I'm like like a lot of people. I don't like to bury so much of the rhizome like that. So, but because she is she's a rambler, we got to do something. Picking out some of the smaller stuff to put around that root. So. Actually, I'll do it like I did the other and put a little bit of this orchid supply store extra small radiata on it. So that will help keep it moist and get it started. <clears throat> date on the tag and we'll move on to the walk Rayana, which like I said change things up with it because we're gonna mount it um, that's why I said it, it would have to go into a really big pot their roots are not real uh, big long deep growing roots so I just kind of think that it would be pointless to do that to to chase it you know, with a, a big pot and have all that on the empty on the bottom. So hang tight and we'll come back and do the walk Rihanna. Alrighty, I got my supplies ready for to do this mount. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Coconut husk fiber. I don't know if we'll need all of that or not, but we'll see. Cradle it out into kind of a nest like situation. wires over here out of the way and this is going to go on one of the the orchid supply store mounts that uh, Ken had sent me that um, is concave so I think she just looks like she'll fit on there perfectly and be comfortable and happy in her new home sorry I hit the thing again see I don't leave all that as necessary take some of that off place it on there like that set her down in there like that I remember the configuration of the holes. We'll take our aluminum wire and go up through. here and go through and see if we can find the other one which is right about there. This could be tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. Right there it is. that and pull it tight. Bend those edges down as tight as we can get it. And twist. Now 
right, we can do one here, one here, or one there, one there. We'll see. Um, Cause this is where the two ramblers go up high off the mountain, sorta. So let's cut this piece here and about half. gonna have to go here maybe down under this one or I could do it through the hole here on this is for the um, go over that one I guess I have to go through this one here but this is the hole on the side to hang it from so and I made it too short to do that hmm I wonder if I can put it through that one I probably can that probably works better Trial and error here, trial and error. <laughs> Might take this one out just around the side because it is um, there's not really anywhere else to tie it off to. to just work it out to however it fits best. It keeps it tight because right there is that new growth and right here is the other new growth on this side and then there she sits. And I might Well, I'll see how that does, and if I decide to um, set some bark or anything in here, I can do choose to do that later, and then we'll put two hangers on her and get her hung up there, and you'll get to see her during the weekend walk around. So there you go. I think that looks pretty good, and definitely it's going to be a cool little cup type mount for the plant. So let's put the date on the tag. And I'll just clip it around one of these pieces of wire here. And there we go. So, once again, I want to thank Daryl so much for giving me the orchids, gifting them to me, 
and I also want to thank Jean so much for uh, shipping them to me. I really appreciate all my orchid friends, really great people. So with that said, I appreciate all you beautiful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.